Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how I started my side business and what my top three tips are to get going and be a boss lady. All right, you guys, like I said, we are here to talk a little bit about my side business, which you've heard me mention in some of my other videos. But before we get into my top three tips as to starting your own business and being entrepreneurial, I wanted to tell you guys that this video is in collaboration with one of, oh, she's just like one of my favorite people on YouTube, one of my favorite people on Instagram. I wish that she lived closer to me so that we could be best friends in real life. The one and only Taylor Terrell. I love her. She has the sweetest personality and we collabed um, a few months ago um, when I was a little bit smaller and I just love her dearly. Be sure you go over and check out her video because she's also doing a top three tips like entrepreneurial. Um, she has a like it's a food truck but they do coffee. It's called the Salted Road. Super cute and it is like the inside and the outside of this coffee trailer is or, or like this yeah, this was like coffee food truck trailer. Oh, it is to die for. She like Joanna Gaines that food truck. So cute. So be sure you go over to her channel. I'll have her link down below for you guys as well as her video so that you can go over and say hello and see what she has for tips as well. Getting into my crazy life, my crazy side business. You guys know that I work full time as an accountant and then I also have m and Rustics on the side and I do YouTube because we're crazy and I have two kids. All right guys, hopping into my tips. So tip number one is just get started and I'm going to kind of combine this with how I personally got started with my side business and that was with social media. Social media has given me such a platform um, and I had started out with Etsy back in the day but I ended up having to close it down because we got too many orders. Too many orders you guys. I couldn't keep up with the orders. In fact it was getting to the point where I was having to refund customers because I couldn't get to them fast enough. So internet based shops, social media, just put your ideas out there and get started. That was my big thing was just to get it started and to put myself out there, put my work out there, um, which is funny. I started with signs four years ago is when we started um, making these things and I was making signs primarily. And then we shifted from signs into barn door gates and from barn door gates turned into barn doors and from barn doors shifted into end tables, coffee tables, and then now we primarily make media centers, dining tables, um, buffets, and built like like mock built-in um, hall trees, um, like a shiplap shelf hall tree type thing. Very big pieces, very intricate pieces. So we started out from signs, simple signs, into some more simple furniture, and now we do large piece furniture. So. That all started from signs. So again, tip number one is just get yourself started. Tip number two is to advertise. So I put a lot of like my extra dollars into um, into ads on Facebook, into ads on Instagram, um, running some stuff on Pinterest, things like that. And that. It, blew up overnight. I also utilized the Facebook um, buy and sell market on um, on Facebook. So that's where you could go in and like sell pieces, things like that. Um, so I would get a lot of orders coming in through that. I don't even have a website, you guys. I primarily function off of the Facebook um, business site. So I have like our page. Again, this is just a side hobby. It's not full time. Um, so I just have a business page and people message us with what they want. They'll send us in pictures and we will design it from scratch for them or we can copy something that they are wanting to have built for them in specific dimensions, etc. I have a very sad, uncooperative little girl right now. So again, tip number two is just to utilize your social medias because, and then advertise on there because that is solely how I make my money on um, my side business is just coming from Facebook. That is how I'm getting the traffic in is just Facebook. My tip number three I'm going to say is to stay organized. 
because with our side business growing so quickly on social media, um, it I very quickly learned that I had to learn organization. I'm still struggling with it because we blew up overnight, um, and this was like three and a half years ago. Um, we blew up overnight, and now we just seem to blow up even more and more and more. And this is not something my husband and I wish to take to be a full-time thing, but can you imagine the potential there? We did choose to make it full-time. Insane. So organization is key. I always keep my planner on hand, and we have had hundreds of orders at all times and now we're just getting to the end of our list um, slowly but surely because we are honing it down to we are um, lessening our load to about four pieces a month for large furniture furniture pieces a month now in grand total last year we made thirty five thousand um, dollars give or take from that was gross from our furniture sales now that is just from our side business, just from M&M Rustics. That does not include our regular jobs, that is just what we made in our side business. All right, you guys, I hope that helps you guys. Um, I would say like overall, most definitely, make sure that you're on social media. That is how I got started, that is how I reached out to people, and how I spread our business. I made business cards, I just, that word of mouth, especially from where I'm Especially where I'm from, that word of mouth means a lot. You're just going to want to stay organized. So once the traffic starts to come in, you need to stay organized. So put yourself out there on social media. Utilize the ads that they allow you to use on social media. And then make sure you're staying organized. Those are my top three tips. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope this inspired you to start your own little side hobby or side business. Because it can bring in quite the chunk of money. Take my experience as an example. If you guys like this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, make sure that you go and check out Taylor's video as well. She's very entrepreneurial. She is a lady boss and I love her. She's so sweet. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on any of my other crazy future videos. And I will see you guys next time on Thursday for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.